action. Now I would like to introduce you to TV presenter and naturalist um, Mike Dilger. So, Mike, first question is, who or what inspired you to become who you are? Very good question. Uh, I think I can answer that one straight away. I went to university. And interestingly enough, when I was your age, my parents were both teachers, but neither of them were interested in wildlife. So I was interested in wildlife on my own. I thought I was the only boy in the world who was interested in wildlife. And I got my first book at nine years of age, a book on birds in Britain. And that was it. I got, a, I got my bird book, I got my binoculars, and I was off. But if there's one person who's inspired me more than anybody else, it's a chap called Nigel Brown, who's a university professor from the University of North Wales, Bangor. And he, run, he used to run the Trebeth Botanic Gardens, and he was, he still is, the most amazing naturalist. He was brilliant on birds, fabulous on plants, amazing on butterflies, dragonflies, grasshoppers, crickets, but more than being amazing at those things, he was always wanting to share the information. He would give so many guided walks and he took me under his wing and I learned a huge amount from him. And I bumped into him at the bird fair last year and I remain enormously grateful for the help that he can have. He got me on the road to where I am now. So Nigel Brown, uh, a biologist, a naturalist and a great friend from the University of Bangor in North Wales. Thank you very much for pointing me in the right direction. So the second question is, what are your main specialities? My specialities, uh, these days I'm what's called a jack of all trades and master of none, which means I like to do everything. First and foremost, I am a birder. I really like birds. I've probably seen about three and a half thousand species of birds around the world. And my British list isn't very good. It's maybe 330, 340. But I love birds. But I did botany at university, so I'm very, very keen on plants. Um, I've seen all the British butterflies. Uh, I've seen virtually all the British dragonflies. The latest uh, uh, group that I'm really excited and getting into at the moment are crickets and grasshoppers. So I'm trying to identify as many of those as possible. So probably a bird are first and foremost, but these days it's British wildlife. But if I was to go abroad, it's definitely birds first and foremost. And uh, my favourite groups, hummingbirds and tanagers of South America. So going to South America, the cloud forest, and seeing hummingbirds and tanagers is my favourite thing. I would agree on that. My third question is, what is your favourite bird? Can I have two? Is that allowed? Yes. My favourite British bird is the bullfinch. I absolutely love bullfinches. They come in my garden every day. When I hear them come in, you hear this pew, pew, pew call. And they've got that lovely white rump when they fly off. The males, of course, are dazzling pink. And the females are a bit dull and boring to look at. The colour of their breast is not too dissimilar from my T-shirt. But they come into my garden on a very regular basis. And they always fly off, leaving me wanting more. And they're wonderful. And every now and again, I hear their song. They don't sing very much, like robins or blackbirds or song thrushes, which sing all the time. They sing very early in the year. And they have a wonderful hurdy-gurdy type song, which is weird when you hear it. And I heard it in my garden this spring and was thrilled to bits. So my favourite British bird is the bullfinch. My favourite world bird is a bird called the Andean Cock of the Rock. Bright fuchsia pink all over with a huge big crest, black and silver wings and yellow legs like a chicken. And it's a, it's a lecking bird. So all the males get together in a tree, dawn and dusk, every day and display. The females are really dull to look at. And the male's crest goes up particularly when they see a female, and they go and they make that call and the female goes no thanks, and she flies off and the males get all a bit disappointed, then another female turns up and they do it again, so British bird, bullfinch, uh, favourite foreign bird, the Andean cock of the rock in Spanish, gallo de la peña Okay, and my last question is what are your plans for next year? My plans for next year are to carry on doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm very lucky to work on a programme called The One, show on BBC, BBC One, 
every weekday between 7 and 7.30. It's a magazine programme for those that don't know it and they have a lot of wildlife films on and I've done everything from bumblebees to basking sharks and so I get the chance to travel all over Britain and all over the British Isles filming wildlife from every corner of the British Isles so I'm really lucky. What I'd most like to do is try and see Scottish wildcats. I've never seen Scottish wildcat before. But um, and I, where where would I most like to go in Britain? Probably the place I'd most like to go. Probably like to spend a bit of time on the Scilly Isles because I never get to, get to visit there very often. Because I've been to most places in Britain. So carrying on doing what I'm doing, seeing amazing wildlife, getting really excited about it, and hopefully seeing a Scottish cat. That's what I'll be doing next year. Thank you very much, Mike, and enjoy the rest of your bird fair. Thank you very much, young man. I think you're doing a wonderful job. And um, just may I just have the be cheeky and say, um, I've worked very luckily with uh, Roy Dennis and the Ospreys, the transportation project, over to Urdubai in um, northern Spain. And we delivered three Ospreys, uh, I think, three years ago and had a fantastic time over there. Uh, I wanted to say in Spanish, I can't speak Catalan, unfortunately, or Basque. Muchas gracias. Buena suerte con los, uh, los ospreys y ojalá va a regresar en unos dos o tres, tres, tres años. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Thank you very much, young man.